Italians, happy Halloween. I'm Dracula itself, himself, and right now we're going to get out those grams in a bit. So you gotta be ready for that. And up to the weather. This week on the weather. On Tuesday, Halloween, we will be starting with a high of 82 and a low of 53. Wednesday, it will be a high of 83 and a low of 58. Thursday, it will be a high of 82 and a low of 57. Friday, it will be a partially cloudy day with a high of 78 and a low of 56. On Saturday, it will be a high of 78 and a low of 58. That's all for this week's weather. <laughs> In this student interview today, we have Andrew, Michael, and these two are a returner from the soccer soccer team. All right. So, what are you guys expecting from this season? Uh, we're expecting a lot of great things. We expect to be uh, league champions again, and hopefully, make it far into the playoffs. Right. Um, I expect a pretty solid team. Just making sure they are committed and always show up to practice. To be having a strong team to win league once again for the third time. And then, how long have you both of you guys been playing soccer? Uh, I've been playing soccer for around two years now, two three years now, and I've really learned a lot in that time. Uh, I've been playing soccer for since I was young, since like six years old, but I didn't really play it um, seriously. But I started in high school season when I took it seriously and just began playing it more and more. All right, and then the last question is, what's your guys' favorite team? Club America. Yeah. Uh, Manchester City. All right. Thank you, guys. This week on ARB Sports, the first game for boys and girls basketball will be here in the gym on November 13th. As for soccer, their first game will be on November 9th against Pat Brown and Ross Snyder. The girls' volleyball game against Animal South LA came with a win, meaning they have advanced to semifinals. Congrats. That's all for this week's sports. Sally's back to staff interview. Today we have Miss Evelyn. Hi. So our first question is, what made you take control of, of El Los Poderosos? Um, I took over Poderosos because it was something that the previous uh, parent coordinator um, had been doing for quite a few years. Um, and so it was something new to the schools after pandemic. So I think it, it was a way for me to kind of get student, get to know students and have more interactions, have more fun. Yeah. When will applications for Poderosos open up again? Um, they will op open second semester and we'll be um, interviewing and taking applications for next school year. Um, was ARB your first school to work at? Um, no, I used to work at an elementary school before this as office associate um, and then um, I decided to switch to high school. Yeah. So before working at the other elementary school, um, how was that job? Um, I was an after school teacher um, as well for uh, kindergarten students. So yeah, that's how it started. Um, uh, we wanted to know during your free time, what is something you like to do to relieve stress? Um, I like to run. So I'm actually uh, um, part of SRLA now. Um, so I like to run, I like to color and um, yeah, just listen to music. What is your favorite part of working here? Uh, my favorite part is staff. Staff is uh, like a family, students. Um, I feel like I've built more relationship with students now. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice school, a small school. So you get to know everyone. I get to know students' names and just call you guys out around the hallway. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you, Miss Evelyn, for this interview. Back to our host. ARB Leadership Class of 2024 would like to shout out everyone who bought a bullgram. Thank you. Welcome back to Pets of the Week. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to be doing a small tribute to the pets that have died. Here we have Christopher Zacharias, Bunny, Bobo. We also have Javier Castro's hamster, Mr. Fat. And we also have Miss Osorio's dog, named Daisy. We would just like to say, rest in peace. Alright, as you can see, it was spooky day today. It's going to be over soon, sadly. And the next day, it's going to be 
Remember Me Day. And on Thursday is gonna be tie dye day and Friday twin day. So you guys gotta be ready for that. And unfortunately it's an end. Sadly, and I'm out.